Hi everyone. I have a package today. It does say Dream Valley there on the side, but I'm pretty sure it's not Dream Valley. Um, these are, it's actually a bundle of things that I ordered through BJ Divas and most of them were either on layaway or pre-order. So they all kind of came in at different times and then um, I asked for them all to be shipped together. So pretty sure there's nothing from Dream Valley in here, but I could be wrong. We're just going to open it up. I think this is just, uh, just a box that they use to ship the things that I ordered in. So as you can see, there's a couple different packages in there. I'm actually just going to set it on the floor and then bring up in each individual package separately. So I'm super excited for these things. This is um, Black Box. I know I've done at least a few box openings before with items from Black Box. So Black Box is a doll company. Well, they kind of used to be. Now they're more of a figure company because COVID hit them really hard. And it makes me so sad because they used to make um, just gorgeous, adorable little resin um, dolls that were like animals, very similar to this. And you know that they did the... Um, like Egyptian God minifigure blind box things, which I should have brought one with me. I don't have one laying around in the room. I do, actually. I have one up there in the cabinet. You see where my little pink-haired girl is on top shelf where I'm kind of pointing? There's one back there. Maybe I'll grab it after I take these out. So I'm just going to show you the packaging here. And let me just tell you the circumstances with this particular um series, I guess you could say. So Black Box, as I said, they were a doll company, but now they make figures, which is fine. I love their figures. They're just, they're just as cute and special. Um, I'm, I'm looking at the bottom of this box because if you are part of my smart doll group order for those, um, clear boxes to store or display your smart dolls in, I'm just wondering if this is what the bottom of the box is going to look like something similar. So now I'm like paying attention to these types of boxes. Anyway, that's besides the point. Um, so Black Box made this series of about six, I think, different little, uh, like, again, Egyptian styled kind of critters. The packaging shows um, this cat, this black one. And then also like a tiger one on the side. Um, but I have four here, so at least we know there's four different ones. But originally, when they had... That's interesting. Oh, there's different eyes you can put in there. Okay, so this is cool. This is more than just a figure to me when you can change out the eyes. Um, so, here's like a little COA, even though it's just a... Um, like figure, I guess you could say. Um, but this is the image of this figure, this little black cat. And they included like, if you can see there's kind of like those clear, I don't want to say gashapons, something. Kabachons. That's what I'm thinking of. I think that's the right thing. If you can see that, um, they're there. And then they included some printed images of different eyes that you can probably either glue or, or tape to the back so that you can get different eyes than what um, was in here. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited by this. This is so gorgeous. So here's this little cat. You can see, you know, it's about the size of my, the palm of my hand. I would say two to three inches tall. And it is a figure, but it's a posable figure, which is really cool, really beautifully detailed. It's very uh, similar feel to their, um, their little blind box figures, which I, I should go grab the other one, but look at the articulation here. So there's articulation at the hip, the knee. I don't know if you can see that. I'm like bending the knee there. And then also the foot and look at those little toe pads, you guys. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's so adorable. They are actually in gold. I thought it looked pink at first, but they're gold to match all the gold accents on this pretty little kitty. And look at the beautiful detailing there on the face. I'm going to block myself so maybe it'll focus on this cat. It's not, but 
there's like a scarab beetle kind of gem. And if you could see there, there's the eyes. And so you couldn't probably replace that. I'm just going to like pop off the head here because there's a joint like along the chin line. Let's see if I can do that easily. I don't want to break it, <laughs> but I feel like it should be relatively easy to dislodge. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. It's just getting your fingernails kind of in between the joint there. It's, um, you can see there, there's kind of like the neck peg and it's just an inside, but then there's the inside, uh, where you can put in the different eyes. So let's see how easy that is to put back together. Should be easy, but you never know. Huh. All right. So I put it together, but then look, its head is off track. So I need to put it together lower set onto that um, peg here. So let me put my fingernail back in to kind of pull it apart. All right, so I'm gonna set it. I'm gonna kind of hold it where it's resting against the, the head. It's just curious because, okay, there we go. Like I thought this was kind of in the way but you can move it. So I think it needs to be out of the way to get the head back on. Okay. I don't know. Now I'm confused because there's like <laughs> bobblehead action going on here. Um, there is flexibility at the hips. So you can kind of bend it there. I don't get this bobblehead action. That's kind of strange. I feel like you have to have it set a certain way. One of my thumbnails is broken, so I only have like one nail to like dig in here. Okay, I'm confused. We don't want bobblehead action. Hi, kiddo. No, I'm still doing my video. That's my kiddo talking to me through the door here. Hey, kiddo. All right. I really don't get this. Now it's like incredibly loose here, and it wasn't when I took him out of the package. So what did I do? Oh, I'm like pl playing with it just off screen. Um, I don't know. That's so bizarre because it's basically just a loose thing now. Maybe... No, I don't get it y'all. There's probably, there's some writing on the back of the package here that might give some instruction on how to do it. That's in, you know, whatever language. I wish I could figure this out. That's so strange. Hi kiddo. I don't know. I, I can put the head back on and it's fine, but it totally has this like bobble head neck going on. I don't get that. I don't know. That's really weird. I'll have to, have to figure that out. Um, <laughs> hope I didn't ruin it, but I don't think that I did. It doesn't seem broken. I just took it apart to do the eyes and, or like look at the eyes. Anyway, moving on, moving on. So there's another one, a beautiful orange tiger. Oh my gosh, look at him. So that's the other one on the other side of the package. So we looked at this black one and here's the orange one. That's what's on the packaging. I was telling the story of these, right? So um, Black Box put out this beautiful ad for like six different figures, okay? I think it's six. Here's a white tiger. Oh my gosh, look at him, he's so cute. Oh my gosh. He's adorable. Um, oh, see, that's curious. I'm going to open this one up. Does this one have stuff in the background? Okay. So there's, there was six figures. So here's the other Egyptian one. Okay. So there's a black Egyptian one, a white Egyptian one, and then a white and black tiger. Okay. And I, I'm pretty certain that there was 
um, two other types, okay? But they couldn't manufacture them all. For whatever reason, their black box, their manufacturer, after they made the designs, um, couldn't manufacture the other two, I believe, that were designs. And I want to say, oops, okay, so here's the card for this guy. And it does have the white tiger on it. Um, look, you can see there's wings on him. There's wings in there, which is pretty cool. Um, I want to say that it just lifts off. Oh my God, he's so adorable. I love these. I just have to figure out what I did to that other neck. All right, so same thing, another round of eyes. But this one has um, wings in it. They're white with like kind of black airbrush tips. They, um, it matches kind of his coloring, right? So let me see if I can pop him out of here. Oi. Anyway, I want to say that the other two that got discontinued, look at, see, neck is secure. What am I doing wrong? I can see in there that the head is, it must be connected somehow on that crossbar to keep it set in and you have to be able to set that in right just right um did i mention that their tail is jointed too look at that that's so cute and it not it doesn't just go up and down like it should turn yep it turns and even the tail tip turns you can get all kinds of different poses going on here um anyway i keep <laughs> i keep interrupting myself the other two that were that couldn't be made i think were two other egyptian ones with wings so i'm not sure why they could make a white and an orange tiger with wings, but then they couldn't do their Egyptian one with wings. But maybe it has to do with the like gold collar that's on here because he doesn't have that. And on the back, you can see there's kind of that fur ruff where you can stick the wings in. And I don't know if there was something that had a problem with, you know, merging those two features. Um, but I'm just going to stick these wings on this white one. And then it, that's all of them, right? So, like I said, I, I'm going to put, I'll put a um, picture or something somewhere to reference the original ones that Black Box had advertised. Um, but these are totally worth it. So, all right. On the back, there's like a little peg and it just slides right into those little like, I don't know, jetpack ports. <laughs> That's what it kind of looks like to me. Let's see if I can get it in easy enough. All right, it's like kind of like a little bit of a wiggle, but it just kind of pushes in, I think. It's kind of, I probably, you know, could push it in flush, but I, I'm not able to do that just like handling it right now. I don't know, because this is like a PVC kind of, you can hear it squeaking. Here I am, I'm just kind of wiggling it to get these wings in and they're not all the way flush in. I imagine maybe a little bit of um, heat maybe would work. I don't know, I think I have them on the right way because the other way you wouldn't be able to put them in because then the pegs would be facing down. So that's what they look like. And just as with the tail, you can kind of pose the wings because they are posable. They're on that like joint. Um, I'm so curious about that. I, I'm going to have to figure out the other head and how to properly place it. I'll have to take one apart really slow and probably videotape myself doing it so I can watch. But anyway, these are super freaking adorable. Um, at first they were going to be sold as a blind box, but then they couldn't manufacture them all. So then you could pick and choose the ones you want. I don't know if BJ Divas or other uh, figure or toy companies still have these available. Kika Goods might have them available. Um, but they're really adorable. Very beautifully detailed. Just look at that face. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I love them. I, you know, I, I totally did want like a complete set, but four is sufficient and just over there I have my uh, Cleo and Sphinx 
and I'm pretty sure that the two Egyptian kitties are going to be theirs. So <laughs> now I'm surrounded by little plastic cats and I still have a couple things left here to show you guys. And I am sorry I mentioned <laughs> the other blind box company on this video. This is specifically all stuff from BJ Divas. Like I said, I had a few orders with them and I just uh, had them ship them all together. Anyway, moving on. I got another box here. And I was actually, I actually just ordered something else with BJ Divas tonight. <laughs> it's another, you know, I saw a meme that said, you know, it was, it was a, in one of the ball joint dog groups and said, you know, I, something like, I pray your favorite dog companies don't release any new dolls for you until your wallet recovers or something like that. Obviously, that didn't happen for me because I've actually had these orders open for a while with BJ Diva. So I think with this, all of my orders are complete, except that I just placed another order tonight. It's an accessory though, so it doesn't really count, but it's part of a doll release that they have. So, um, you know, it's going to take a while for that to come in anyway. Um, this is kind of boom. I know I've done a box opening for a kind of boom item before. Sadly, I don't remember exactly what, if it was just a head, like that three eyed cat head that might've been kind of boom. I don't remember. But look at this, look at their beautiful card. Oh my gosh, it's like heavy cardstock and it has gold foil print. There's their logo. Let me see if I can make the thing focus on it. Nope, it still won't focus. But then on the back side, it kind of has like, that must be doll name, uh, date of purchase. And then maybe that's like a little box for the photo. <laughs> I don't know, that's really cute though. It's a really nice cardstock. Look, that cardstock. That's like a sixteenth of an inch thick. All right, in here, very nicely cushioned little thing. I'm guessing that the other box goes along with this because I think this is kind of a set thing. So I think this is a head. And I saw somebody else had recently gotten one of these, I think that, um, had ordered the same thing. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this adorable little head. So, it has kind of an open, smiling mouth. It has like wings for ears, or you could say they're like furry ears. And I know the detail is not really showing there, but I think, yeah, she has little fangs. Teeny tiny little fangs. Oh my God, that's so adorable. So this is like a little cat almost, but with um, furry ears. The inside is uh, held by magnets and there is a slot for the S hook and there is a really nice little metal kind of boom like logo stamp in there. My light's catching it over there and you can see the two magnets that kind of hold it. Um, goes very nicely together. That is such a, a adorable little head really cute. So I'm going to leave it out though for a second because I think the other part is the um, base to this. And I say base because it's not really a body, but it kind of is. I guess you guys will just, I mean, probably people who have ordered this know what I'm talking about or if you've seen other people's um, item come in. But I'm telling you, kind of boom is really adorable. Their um, dolls tend to be the one six size that I've gotten so far. And they're just so stinking cute. I don't know. I really, the, there's an appeal to me for the bigger eyes because that kind of is like anime. Um, the textured mouths, is that sculpted mouth? Like where it's open and there's teeth showing of some sort. I just really, really like it. I'm like pulling the bubble wrap off of this. So here is another really pretty box, but look at this, you guys. So there's their logo again, and it's a really cute little, I can carry this little box. It's like a purse box. That's so cute. It's really, really adorable. So the question is, okay, on the sides, there's like little loop catches. 
So I think I have to take those, like, kind of like unsnap it, I think. Yeah, it's like a leather, a leather strap. And there is kind of like a slot for that um, bolt to come off. So then I should just be able to pull this off like so. Look at that box. It's all gold and, oh my gosh, you know what it is? I thought it was just kind of like floral looking. It is. I guess it is floral looking. It looks like a flower to me. But I thought for there for a second that almost looked like that face, that cat face almost. But I don't think it is. I think it's just floral kind of design there. So obviously nicely cushioned here. Ooh, smell that resin. <laughs> for anybody out there who watches my videos and you just do vinyl, if you've never um, owned a resin doll, you know, resin is a material that is like... I mean, I don't know. I've never seen it in its different states because I don't make dolls. I buy them. But um, I imagine that it is similar in context. I don't know if that's the right word. To like cement. It's wet and you pour it into the mold to shape the thing that you want. In this case, a doll. And then it sets hard and then you have this hard resin and there's just that odor to it. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. All right, so there are parts in here, and I think that's just extra cushioning. There's nothing in there. Um, look at that. What is that? That's big, huh? Um, one more piece, or maybe two. I don't know. And then down at the bottom, they have some cards here, so I'm just going to set this box down. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is what this is. Oh my gosh, that's so perfect. I'm so happy this actually came at this time of year. I kind of almost forgot about it, but this is a postcard. On the back is a postcard, and it has like their Kind of Boom logo. And look, it's like a Merry Christmas box. So this, this is like a cartoon drawing of what this doll is supposed to be. So she's like a little doll with head, but she sits on a box. So you can't really move her. You can move the box around. You might be able to pose her head and tilt her head and whatever, give her different hair, eyes, whatever. But the box is her body, basically. It's like she's set as kind of like a little decor. And then another kind of boom, um, very nice cardstock um, business card. I guess it's not even a business card. This is like the COA. So I'm sure that probably says sculpt and then like owner or date or something. And then that's like a spot where you could put a teeny tiny little image. This is such a cute thing. I'm not going to show it again because what if I mail it to one of my dolly friends? So don't go back and look at that postcard again if, you know, you're somebody I have an address for. I might mail this to you because it's adorable. All right, so these pieces. Okay, kiddo. My kiddo's just out there running around in the house. All right, so... Unwrapping, unwrapping, unwrapping. I don't know. I might have to save these things to put them back in the box until I have a chance to paint them, do something with them. Now, because this is, look at this. That is resin. Look at, there's two little paw prints. Isn't that adorable? There's parts in there, you guys. <laughs> Even more. So maybe alternative hands. These look like they could be hands. So maybe you can pose the hands, the arms, the head. Um, but somebody else who got this was like super pleased because once you put it all together and assemble it, this can store her extra parts, which is really cool. Or you could actually use it as like a little like, here's my gift to you, but give me back my doll. You can have the candy that's on the inside or something. Um, I can't really recall what color I got, but the box is the same color resin as the skin tone, which is basically like in my light here, it kind of looks like a peach, a peachy white, um, uh, very light. If there's any like coloration to the, if not white, it's like a very light peach. Sorry. Hang on just a second. My kid was talking to me. Okay. I think it's going, yeah. Anyway, I just had to help my kid out with something for a minute. 
I was saying the, um, if this isn't like a pure white, if it's like a skin tone, that's like a light version. It's like very light. So, so far we have the box and the head, right? And sorry, all these little cat things are still over here. Um, this feels like it would be the lid, but look at that. There's like something sticking off. So let's open this up and see what it kind of looks like. Oh gosh, it really does have that like fresh resin smell. It's not bad. It's just a very distinct smell. It's like a scent that I guess anybody who has resin dolls, who has bought brand new or even sometimes really old dolls, um, that scent just is there. It's part of it. All right, so look at this. That must be the, the neck. And there's the S hook already in there, which is really cool. So, oh my gosh, you guys, I just love this already. I love it so much. So this is the lid. And you can see there's little stars. Oh my gosh, she's even holding something in her hand. She's holding like a little gingerbread cookie man. Do you see that? And she's like, has her hand out here. So you cannot move these hands. Can't move the arms. Can't move any part of this except for the S hook for the head. And then she has wings on her back, which you can pose. I don't know. Would you say you're posing wings by flapping them up and down? You can flap them. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and you can see there's like space there. So I'm guessing that's one of these things that still needs to be unwrapped. But let's just take a look and see how this lid fits on the box. I don't know if there's a specific um, side that it goes to, but I like the idea of showing the little paw prints. So you can see it's like she's sitting in the box. Obviously she doesn't have legs or anything. You're not going to really be able to clothe her, but you're going to have like things sitting in front of her that make her look like she's a little kind of angel girl in a Christmas box. So that, that fits in really nice. Let's just see if it, if it matters which direction it goes. Nope, it really doesn't because there's a, a ridge on the inside. I don't know if you can really see that in there, um, but it it sits in and you can put this any any which way you want. So I just like the idea of the paw prints being at the front. I think that's kind of cute. So just to show you, let's see if I can slide her head in there. So obviously I would have to like lock it in on the inside, but that's her head on there. I do believe that is the head that was um, advertised with this box, but really any one sixth size head would work. I'm looking down here because I have a one sixth headless girl here too, but um, I sent the heads that I have for her off to an artist, so I don't, I thought they were back there, but they're gone. They're, they're mailed out. All right, so let's see what else there is. We have, um, sorry, I'm like rifling through all these little bags here. These are the things for the cats. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five more little things to unwrap here. So let's just get to it and see what there is. Oh my gosh, there's legs, you guys. Gosh, she didn't have legs. Oh. It's still part of the top, the lid top. The lid is basically her body. <laughs> Look at this. So it's legs. That's just a flat surface, just a flat piece of resin. That's <laughs> an intriguing piece of resin, isn't it? But that's what goes in that little flat space right there. So it makes it look like she's sitting in the box and there's all those little stars and stuff kind of covering her. That's really adorable, you guys. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I wish I could show it to you all together, but I'm curious as to how you make that stay. Like, do you glue it on? Because I don't see any reason why you wouldn't want that there. Because if you didn't, let's say if, she, if you look, made it look like she was sitting inside the box without her legs, 
Let's see. Do the legs fit in there? Yes, they do. But do they fit where the lid would be able to sit on top of it? Because they fit in there. But the other foot, the foot comes up pretty close to the ridge. It doesn't sit as flush, so you can't store her legs in there really. You can, it sits there, but it's not flush like it was before, so I wouldn't recommend it. Plus, you might scratch the legs. I don't know. Um, these must be little loose, I'm guessing that these have to be little loose resin stars that like match the lid, I guess. The decorations on the lid. All right, let's see. Yeah, this is a tiny little star. It's a really cute little star. Oh, it has a notch in it though, so it must go in a specific spot. So here's the star. It's just a little resin star, but it has a very distinctive notch in there, so it must rest on something question is what? Where does it go? It's like a puzzle. Oh, there's another little ginger. There's a couple little gingerbread men mixed in with these stars. Does she hold one? It's so, it seems like it's very specific. I just put it like there, like just kind of resting right underneath where my fingertip is. I don't feel like it's like on a notch. There must be a specific spot for it. Like there's an empty spot here that looks like it could be it. Maybe it's easier to tell with the legs on. I don't know. So I'm guessing this is probably another star. What time is it getting to be? Oh, it's 8.30. I gotta go to work soon. I'm sure I've probably mentioned it, but I work midnight shift, so I tend to do these box opening videos either right before I go to work or earlier in the afternoon when there's better light, but this is when I'm more awake. All right, so here's another star. It's bigger than the other one, and it also has a very distinctive notch on the back. I don't know. Okay, so then there's these two bigger pieces. What are they? I don't remember. It's been a while since I ordered this. But I have to say, I 100% love Kanaboo. Their stuff is so, so adorable. Very cute. Very nicely stylized. Oh, big, big, big hearts. Not hearts. Stars. Look at that. Two stars. Also, distinctive notch. I'm starting to feel like I'm failing at putting a puzzle together. Maybe I'll have to um, set this down on the couch that I'm sitting on here and then try to puzzle this this stuff out because right now, if I just leave these legs, I mean, they're sitting there, but I feel like they could fall and I can't really show you this way because then everything will fall off. So I might have to like hold my, I might have to flip my screen so I can see what I'm looking at and you guys can see <laughs> and then I can try to puzzle out where exactly these stars go. Because now I have four little stars sitting there, and they all definitely seem to have a specific um, spot that they need to go. But it's not clear to me what that spot is, so I don't know. One last piece here. This doesn't look like a star. It's something different. Oh, it's, I think it's a little crown. So it has like a little, it's a little resin crown and has a star on either side and then a little tiny star, two little stars at the front. So they must sit on her head, maybe, like so. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe she holds that in her hand. I don't know. I'd have to go back and look at the, uh, um, like release photos because it's kind of smallish. I mean, it does sit there and probably with a wig, it would probably sit differently too. Um, 
but for now just resin on resin it's just sliding right off all right so we're gonna try this please excuse my messy everything my messy life <laughs> let's see if i can show you guys what this looks like all right kiddo go in your room and i'll be right there all right let me show you guys i'm gonna try to flip this around and it, i hope i can still keep it on the right um the right uh you know so there's the lid right and there's all the parts plus her legs and i just i don't know it seems like it's going to be a very specific puzzle okay let me see if i can hold this i'm left-handed but i'm going to hold the camera with my left hand obviously you guys are just going to picture her head on there How did this go? I feel like this is such a specific. I suppose you could put them any way you wanted, but look, there is a definite like ridge there and that is flat. There's no flat edges here. I don't understand this. I don't get it. I mean, I guess you could put it, like I said, wherever you wanted. I don't know. There's got to be a specific spot for it. Um, but overall, she's really cute. I'm just going to look back at the um, reference images to see exactly how they were originally laid out. Um, but it's really cute. And I'm sorry if this video is very goofy. And then, and there you can see <laughs> all the packaging from the little black box uh, kitties. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I will try to do, uh, I'll give you links to these items on PJ Diva's uh, website. I don't know if they're open or if they have more of the cats available to just buy. Um, this one was a pre-order and I, I don't know if they have any spare ones, but, um, I highly recommend Conaboom if you have not ever gotten them. Their, their resin is just so smooth and so just, it's adorable. They're very, very cute, very nicely, um, built. So thanks for watching and, um, I hope the video is okay. Have a great night, everybody. Bye.